Can you see it? Right in the centre here, there's a spider. But look, can you see the web? It comes all the way round the entire screen you're looking at. I think it best shows itself around here. But this <clears throat> is exactly at head height. I'm holding my camera pretty much to my eye. And if I just move my hand in, so I'm not touching him, you see, I come out. It's way, way bigger my hand because it comes all the way up to here and all the way round here. Oops, round here. There you go. And my hand is there. So they literally wrap around your face. These things are huge. But that is a tiny spider, thank goodness. You, they can be big. And this isn't a big web. I assure you, this is not a big one. They can be way bigger than this. Now, this is one of the larger spiders. And I've had a few of these on my face already today. Hello and welcome to a very special Forgotten Temples Cambodia with myself, Mr. B, because I've just realized a dream and I'm ecstatic. I'm so happy. But let's take a note firstly of our surroundings because this has an awful lot to do with what I'm about to say. Firstly, look at the shirt. I am literally dripping with sweat because I'm in the jungle, the one that surrounds uh, Angkor Wat in the complex, which is a huge complex. I assure you, no one comes here. They really don't. A local might wander through, I suppose, but uh, that's about it. And as you saw from that front piece, there is... It is an unbelievable amount of spider's webs. I mean, it's literally, as I said, every other step. I'm just dripping with spider's webs and sweat because I'm looking for an altar, well, a, 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 um, the base of where a mighty statue once stood because I've seen photos of it and it's supposed to be around here somewhere. But of course, the internet is quite simply not there and it's a case of just floundering around in the jungle and it was over there that I stopped and I thought you know what I'm gonna have to give up because I'm gonna get myself lost or in some sort of trouble I then cast my eye over and lo and behold carved blocks it's not what I was actually aiming to find but what I seem to have found is the base of an ancient temple and I thought, good Lord, in the middle of nowhere. I then went to my maps and guess what? Even the super duper special maps I have, it appears on none of them. And I've always had this dream to find a temple kind of of my own that didn't appear on any maps. Now, I have to be very careful with this statement because I am not I repeat, not saying that I have discovered it. Of course I haven't. That would be very silly of me because we're in the main complex. But what I am saying is I've always wanted to discover one that you just stumble across. It's obviously known to the locals because they live here. But if you wanted to find this, it would be impossible. So... Allow me to show you what a little bit of adventuring can do. And I'll show you where I came from and I'll show you the base of this temple that no one else can get to. So this is how we begun. Through this thick um, jungle here, and there is no paths. There's no paths off to the left or right I'm deliberately shrouding you from. Uh, I had to push myself through, but there is a a little track on the other side of this that runs parallel so I'm quite safe pushing into the jungle this way you see and then coming through I found this gully now this is obviously like this you see it raises up at the back and this is where water would settle up in front of me is a very tall bank that is the ridge line there but on looking to my left, 
and it depends how well you can read land. You may notice this, not this brown line here, but there's a like a, another sort of gully here. Now this is where water comes. It's, it's eroded down. We can see exposed tree roots and things like this. So I came up here looking to my right and left, hopefully seeing any indication of where this plinth um, is that I wish to see. And I got to here and I thought, B, you're just going to get lost at this point because there's no paths and you need to think about heading back. But I turned to my right and there it is right on top of me. I didn't notice it when I was walking towards it. So what can we tell you about it? Well, <laughs> not an awful lot. Um, I assume it's a temple. We've got these very square uh, blocks here and here, and I'm going up with you as I don't believe this will be part of a bridge. As I say, we're in the jungle in the Angkor Wat complex. And we've got, oh, look, you see, you're never far from a spider. Look, there's one here. You see, they, they are literally everywhere. Look, sorry, darling, I'm going to have to go through you. I, I do apologise, but I don't have a choice. Now then, you see, look. Let's move some of this out the way. See? Here we have blocks and they go on over there. So let's try and get up here um, and see what we can find. Now up on the top, so this is the bit I just showed you, because I do need to try and draw a picture in your head. And look, if I spread the undergrowth, blocks, blocks, here, big block, you see? And they continue all the way along here. Look, here, 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 and so on, here. They're, they're of quite a uniform size, as this one is approximately the same size as this one. Now, if this was a bridge, I don't think it would go that far back. And it continues, well, this far back, it continues on. We go through a bit more jungle. These vines are a terror, you know. Once they get round you here, look. Again, we have this uniform sized block. And again, and it repeats and repeats and repeats. Now it seems to end about there. So what would make sense is here, all the way down to there, is this is a wall. Which means obviously we should take a few steps over to here and look for the other wall. Well, what do we meet? It drops off. All this has slid away. I've never done a shot like this to camera because it's pretty impossible for me to get, at the moment, to get a tripod at any angle that makes any sense. But it was as I was walking away, the front end where I actually found the front of it is there and I've just discovered something behind me. Let me show you what that is. Now, it's all very confusing in the jungle. Believe me, you can get lost so easily. Our front end is there that I showed you. I then walked along the ridge here and we followed that brick line that I believe to be a wall. That is all the way along there. It's then I noticed something in here. And this is wonderful because I believe this would show potentially an entranceway. We seem to have, unless they've fallen in this pattern, I find it very hard to believe. But there's blocks, let me get back for you. There's blocks here going down like this, you see. And then we have blocks here, terraced. So there seems to be, excuse me, Mr. Tree, I won't break here. There seems, there's a, Blocks here, if I stand back, blocks here, plateau, blocks here, plateau, blocks here, 
plateau top. So could you see it? One, two, three distinct features here. And also standing back as best as I can, there seems to be, well, there is, there's blocks coming out this way a bit. So, and we see it on the other side. There seems to be blocks merging out of here. Now, I can't say that for fact. It could be a few of the top blocks here have just slipped out. That's completely possible. But what cannot be denied as I take a bigger step back is we have terracing. One, two, then three. This is a bigger construction than I originally thought. I don't know if you can hear them, but the birds are singing and maybe they sing in celebration for us discovering this temple. I mean, just think about it. We're in the middle of Asia, in a country that most people couldn't find on a map. In a jungle, which is, yes, it's in the complex, but nobody comes through here. And within that far off land in that jungle is an ancient temple that appears on no map and lays completely forgotten. There's no offerings, there's nothing. Nobody comes here. But you and I have stumbled across it. And what I like to think is the temple gods are with me. And I honestly believe that now because it is so wondrous what I do and it's so amazing what I find. And this is testimony to what I'm speaking of. It is truly staggering that I should think of turning about and it's exactly at that spot it was. And it's truly, truly wonderful. I mean, we must set back our minds and imagine that there was this grand temple here with the gods living here. That's why these temples were here, because they were the residents of the gods. But the gods have now gone and this is all that is left. And do you know what? He hasn't been shown some love for some time, but we will. Mwah. I honestly feel very, very touched. I'm dripping with sweat. I've got insect bites galore, covered with cobwebs, but I honestly feel truly emotional because I kind of dreamt of finding a place like this that didn't appear on maps, that was in this kind of surrounding. And now I've found it, I feel happy, but I don't know why I feel so terribly sad because it's a terrible thing when all your dreams come true. This will never be repeated for me. I don't think it will. So I'm just gonna have to savor the moment. Thank you, Mr. Temple. Thank you so very, very much for a wonderful day. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I really do. And it just shows you, doesn't it? Go out, do something different, and your own little wonder may be round the corner. As always, I ask you to like, subscribe, and comment. Please comment on this one. I would love to know what you think. And until next time, I can only hope that your day is just a fraction as good as mine. Take the very best of care.